Hey everyone, so I thought we'd do a quick tutorial on right click navigation in ZBrush and why after about 17 years of using ZBrush I've now started to come around to using the right click navigation. Uh, it's been around for a while, I couldn't tell you how long but for a while and I should really have adopted it before now because it does have some advantages over left click navigation that uh, are really worth adopting. So the first thing to do is to make sure that your tablet is set up to have right click on your pen. So if you select, I have a Wacom Intuos here. So for this one, I've opened up the properties and for my grip pen, I've set the right click to be the button that is most accessible to me, which is the one nearest the nib of the pen. So once that's done, we're good to go. So let's just go over the two different methods of navigation. The first is the normal method, which is the left click method. So for this, we just click anywhere on the canvas outside our model and we rotate our camera around the object. If we hold down Alt and left click, we'll move our camera left and right, which will be basically pan. And the most awkward one, the one that gets most beginners especially, is if you hold down Alt and then left click on the canvas, and then while holding down this left click, let go of Alt and drag left or right, you'll zoom in or out. This is a pretty awful navigation method and takes a long time to get used to. I have the muscle memory now after years of it, but for beginners, this is really tough to get handle on. So the thing about this as well is that if you are zoomed in close enough here, you no longer have canvas to actually access. And if I want to rotate around this eyeball here, how do I do that? So ZBrush has provided these white lines on the outside of your document. And these white lines, anything on the inside, it's going to treat like a model. And even though we see the model outside these lines, if you click on this, it's gonna treat that as if it were canvas. So I can now click on this and still rotate. Whereas if I clicked here, I'm basically clicking on my model. So anywhere here, I'm rotating around the model. I can hold down Alt to move, and I can hold down Alt, click, let go of Alt, and then use that to zoom in or out. So basically this is canvas area anywhere in these white lines. So you can do that. For the right click method, Just you don't actually need to click on your, on your tablet. You're basically just hovering your tablet over, basically just hovering your pen over your tablet and you're clicking the right mouse button and there you rotate. You'll see for this, I can be on top of the model as well as the canvas here. It doesn't really matter where I am. So that's one of the small advantages to this. I don't have to worry about over here. I have to be off the model to rotate. If I'm on it, I'm not going to rotate with the left click method. So right click, I can be anywhere and do this. I can hold down Alt and right click, um, which will, and again, I'm just hovering over my, my stylus, over my graphics tablet rather. Um, so we can still do that. And then we can also hold down control and right click. And what this will do is just, if we zoom either up or down or control left and right, this will zoom in or out. Because this is much more intuitive, especially for beginners. Uh, there is one other way. You can hold down alt and right click and then let go of alt, just like you did with left click. And that will also zoom in or out. And I find myself using this because this is a combination of the right click method plus the left click method as it were. So this, the advantage to this is that again, if, if I'm in here, I'm working on an eyeball, I'm, I'm sculpting away, and I decide I want to rotate around that eyeball, I could go up here for the left click method and then click and drag, or I could just right click here, anywhere on my canvas, and I'm immediately rotating around this. So you can see the advantages to this is that I'm not having to go all the way up here to do this. As I'm sculpting away, if I also decide I want to zoom in closer, Rather than come up here, hold down Alt, click, and then let go to zoom in, and then come back to my object, I can just right click, I can hold down Alt and right click, or I can hold down Control and right click, and just zoom in or out. So rotating around becomes very easy. Just right click, Control when I want to zoom in or out. Or if you have the left mouse button, uh, memory muscle like I do, Alt plus the right click here, I will allow to zoom in or out. So that's the advantage for me. I think it's really worth, uh, I know it seems very small not to have to move up here or to the side, but believe me over time, it actually really does become very, very intuitive and helps you navigate around your model a little bit more fluidly. So hope this tip helps. And as usual, do the like, subscribe, notifications thing that all YouTubers do. All right, cheers, bye.